We're done discussing the universe. Now let's understand how the solar system came about. To start with, let me ask you, why is Big Bang Theory the most accepted theory on the origin of the universe? I guess you have your own opinions. We already discussed this in the previous topic. If your answer is because the Big Bang Theory left strong evidences, that means you're correct. What are these evidences? Yes, we discussed the three evidences of the Big Bang Theory, namely the records coming from the satellites, the abundance of elements, and the presence of the cosmic microwave background. In the origin of the solar system, we have two popular models of the solar system. First, the geocentric model. It explained well why as the Earth rotates and why stars were seen once per day. It also explains the movement of planets. But it can't explain why the Earth planets moves background and not the usual forward movement. That's the reason why the next model were created. Heliocentric model resolved this problem using the system of circles to explain the movement of the planets in a circular motion. Now let's now discuss the different hypotheses and theories from the solar system. First, we have the encounter hypothesis. And under encounter hypothesis, we have two different theories. We call it encounter hypothesis because our solar system was a result of the meetup of the sun and the passing star. First, we have the Lutwens collision theory by George Lewis Steckler, Comte de Buffon, French naturalist. Take a look in the picture. The yellow represents the sun and the red represents the raw star. What happened here was our sun accidentally collided with the raw star. As a result, debris coming from the sun and the raw star removed from them. This debris were hot gases and they were scattered in the universe. Eventually, cooled down and formed into planets. Based on the illustration, please take note that the materials coming from the sun became the inner planets and the materials coming from the raw star became the outer planets. Next, we have the Jim Jeffrey Tidal theory. There are a little bit similarity with the previous theory, but this theory, the star and the sun didn't collide. When the sun meets the star, they tend to pull each other. And as they pulled each other, tidal waves were formed. And the river pulled from each other. These materials, which are hot gas in form, were scattered in the universe and when cooled down, they become planets. We also have the nebular hypothesis. Nebular means dust and clouds in the space. To understand this hypothesis, let's take a look again at the illustration provided. A large form of clouds and dust were con contracted due to self-gravity. Because of the conservation of momentum, pulled and formed the clouds into a disk line. This disk be began to rotate and it created a central mass. This central mass now is the sun. Then we have this centrifugal force together with the gravitational force. They both created rings. Due to the presence or the forces present, these rings continuously rotates and eventually planets were created. We also have the protoplanet hypothesis. It has similarity with the nebular hypothesis. In fact, 
Proctoplanet hypothesis incorporates most of the claims of the nebular hypothesis. Small dust particles began to accumulate due to gravitational force forming bigger chunks and became the planetesimals. These planetesimals were the real building blocks of the planets. When these planetesimals collided and merged, they formed protoplanets and same process took place to create the planets. But protoplanet hypothesis did, didn't explain the formation of the two sets of planets. We also have the Descartes vortex theory. What are your observations in all the hypotheses and theories presented a while ago? Isn't it that all of them, the basis of the formation of the solar system is based on a circular motion? French mathematician and physicist René Descartes was one of the first proponents of a model of the origin of the solar system. According to this model, the solar system was formed into bodies where, with nearly circular orbits because of the whirlpool like motion in first solar materials. He explained the orbits of the planets are primarily whirlpool motion and the satellites the secondary whirlpool motion. These are now the different hypotheses and theories that gives explanation on how our solar system were formed. For our reflection, let's think on how we can take good care of our living planet. You can reflect on your own. You can also share your reflection to your brothers and sisters, or maybe with your parents or friends. Yes, this ends my first topic for this school year. Thank you for listening. You are now ready to do your best. Keep safe and God bless everyone.